of Reading's three summer signings that start today. The biggest name in more ways than one is Pavel Pogrebniak, the Russian striker impressed on loan at Fulham in the spring, where he scored on his debut against Stoke. One new face in the red and white stripes today, Michael Kitely, who's moved a couple of junctions up the M6 from Wolverhampton. Birthday boy Robert Hooth, a surprise starter. Two weeks ago, he was hospitalised with meningitis. Lafondre. Hooth back there for Stoke, but he's lost his balance. Lafondre with two chasing into the middle to try and get up in support. It was too strong. Well, he was looking for either Guthrie or McEnough, who were trying to make up ground in the middle. And for a moment, it looked promising for Reading. Maybe a little more composure required from Lafondre. Guthrie. Caught by Whitehead. And for the first time this afternoon, the yellow card is coming out. Stoke have already conceded numerous free kicks. Only the third season in the top tier of English football for Reading, a club that was formed in 1871. Foul this time on Wilkinson. Stokes turn to consider what they might create from a set piece. Crouch on the edge of the six yard box. That's Walters with the header though, and not far wide. A glancing touch from the Irish international. Lovely delivery, and Federici would not have got there. Signs that Stoke have found their feet. Kitely bringing Wilkinson into the play. Whelan with a bit of space. In towards Etherington. Down as far as Kitely. Real chance here. Oh, what a mistake, Federici. It's in. Kitely with the goal. But Federici is red faced to let that one go underneath his body. Whelan's ball in. It dropped kindly here for the Stoke City summer signing. Sort of hits it into the ground and it spins up, and that's sufficient to get the better of Federici who kept 20 clean sheets during last season's championship success, beaten on the opening day by Michael Kitely. Guthrie. McCleary pulling wide. Checking inside. That's a lovely pass, Pogrebniak! Very important block from Shaw Cross. That's the best bit of service that Pogrebniak has had all afternoon. And it's the substitute, Gareth McCleary, heavily involved for Reading. Lovely reverse pass. This is better from Reading. Hart with this corner. Pierce back into the middle. And Pogrebniak's header, well claimed by Begovic. Well, at the moment, it's a bit of an anti-climax for Brian McDermott and Reading. Need to learn quickly in the top flight. He will know that. Guthrie. A clearing. The one summer signing has scored for Stoke. Can another summer signing for Reading do something for them? Well, he's trying to get in here. And a real chance. Hot was there. Brilliant save, Begovic, but a penalty's been given. And a red card for the challenge on the clearing. Second yellow for Whitehead. McCleary going into the danger zone, a surging run, and Whitehead clobbered him. There's the foul by Whitehead, but more importantly, from Reading's point of view, it's a penalty in the 89th minute. The only problem for Reading is that last season they missed five of their seven penalties. Adam Lafondre to earn a point. All square at the Badeski. Adam Lafondre, who this time last season was scoring goals for Rotherham in League Two, opens Reading's account in the Premier League. 1 1 against Stoke. McDermott didn't watch, guided by the reaction of the Reading fans, who went up as one to celebrate the goal. Into injury time, and there'll be five minutes of injury time. McCleary, who's made a real difference since he came on.
That's a neat back heel. Guthrie takes over. Reading look the fresher. Free kick given again. Yellow card for Shawcross. Stoke at the moment looking stretched, looking tired. And if there's one person that Reading would like in this situation, it's Ian Hart. Can he fire this one home and win it for Reading? Oh, desperately close. Well, I thought Begovic got a touch for that, but apparently not. Goal kick given. We'd have been really disappointed to have come out of here with nothing today. So, you know, we kept going and, and our team, our players, they do that. And the fans got us over the line and we, we managed to score and uh, get a point and we're, uh, we're happy with that. Tony, you were so, so close there to all three points. What was your verdict on the penalty decision that robbed you? No, it looks as though it's a, it's a penalty. You know, the only thing is, is um, you know, after he, he doesn't give it, he allows it to run on to um, the lad to have a shot. Asmir makes a great save and then I think Ryan clears it or Rob clears it and then he pulls it back. You know, it's just clarification of that rule, really. If he's playing the advantage, how long you play it for. When the penalty was taken, were you actually watching it? Yeah, I, I was watching it out the corner of my eye. <laughs> I wasn't watching it with both eyes. <laughs>